Yeah, staying a little late today because I'm here with hip hop artist Armin. He mixes his music with his message. Lord, I hate him. Forgive me, it's wrong, but I'm scarred. Planted the seeds of hate in my heart. Keeps growing my heart. Beats flowing my heart. Just keeps hoping because we'll never, ever give up on our cause because we owe it to all the people we love. And along with music, Armin also created the Open Wounds Movement to raise awareness about the Armenian Genocide. In fact, coming up next week on Wednesday, April 24th, he'll be one of the tens of thousands of people turning out for the March for Justice Movement. This happens every year. We commemorate the Armenian Genocide. Armin, welcome uh, back to Good Day LA. Yes, thank you for having me again. Good to see you again. Likewise. Um, so I was nervous about making it <laughs> through this interview We're with happy you. you made it. I know I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm here with you. So let's talk about the open wounds and what it's about for people who are not familiar with it, because you really took it and you turned it into a movement. Right. Well, we feel uh, change doesn't happen without education. So me as an American Armenian hip hop artist and hip hop being the voice of the struggle, the voice of the people was only right for me you know, to do my part, use my platform and tell the story of my people. So it really all started with just writing a song called Open Wounds uh, about the Armenian genocide and really just crimes against humanity. Um, and then with the, with the song, we created these shirts. I'm wearing the hoodie version right now that says our wounds are still open. And together, the song and the shirt just kind of became like this tool to raise awareness and educate people. And really organically it just turned mm -hmm. into this big movement um, you know a lot of people started connecting to it because it was kind of like a new way to spread a very powerful message so so you're using art music social media so right. you're using all these platforms really engaging with the younger generation even the older generation of course we live in LA there's a huge Armenian community right but still, you're finding that people are not familiar with the Armenian Genocide. Absolutely. Of course, we as Armenians, we were raised with, you know, learning about this, you know, a genocide that's often kind of called a forgotten genocide, right? It was an unpunished uh, a crime of this magnitude went unpunished, so people got away with it. And why that's causing an open wound is, you know, a lot of times I try to explain to people, imagine your entire family was brutally murdered. Somehow you survived. Everybody knows who did it but nothing's being done about it. So, um, you know, first of all, when someone gets away with a crime of that magnitude, someone else thinks they can get away with it as well. So we get the Jewish Holocaust, we get all these other, you know, massive crimes against humanity following. Um, so, you know, um, there's still a lot of people that don't know about it. Um, of course we do, but a lot of the younger generation, even in our community, even they do know about it or they don't really know or they don't really connect with the cause. So this movement kind of In many ways, you're people. giving them like a history lesson. So right. you mentioned the shirts. We were just showing images of people, famous people wearing these shirts and sweatshirts. On April 24th, many people in Los Angeles will go on this march and they will be wearing these shirts. Real quick, right. I just want to say congratulations on your new Pentagon LA store. Thank you. And Thank also you. Uh, what you're working on, if you can mention that for us. I'm working on a new album with uh, Scott Storch, one of the greatest producers of all time uh, so that'll be coming out soon and uh, like you said the Pentagon LA store the first one was in Glendale the second one is in North Hollywood of course we have the open wounds gear as well but as an independent artist you know branding and merchandising is really important so we kind of created like a creative space artist related merchandises for sale and we do a lot of events and stuff as well Well, you there, do very so. well and you've got a lot going on good Appreciate to see it. you Thank and you. um good luck with the march i won't be here there this year you obviously yeah <laughs> the march for justice happening april 24th at 1 p.m more details go to foxla.com armin thank you thank